Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you the very first general readings of the brand new year. We're looking at the first half of January 2024. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season as we move into a new year. This reading is for the earth sign of Taurus, our beautiful bulls. Thanks for being here, for watching these videos, for commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, especially hitting that like button. Those of you who uh, reach out for personal readings, who refer and recommend, thank you. Always very appreciative of all your support. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, this video is for you. If you know all of your other signs, uh, watch those videos as well for additional insight and perspective. If you find that something really does hit home, it really resonates, and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, uh, perhaps reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style. If you're interested in a personal reading, email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description of this video. Uh, I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings, all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, budgets, there's something in there for everyone. And I do readings full time, so I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling of personal readings. And uh, still popular right now are the six and 12 month overviews I do, which take a look at what's coming into all areas of your life for the next six or 12 months. And you can order those any time of the year, of course, but the end of one year, beginning of a new year, they're always pretty popular as we're starting a new annual cycle. So something to keep in mind. All right, Taurus, let's take a look at the first half of January, 2024. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. And we begin with the Eight of Wands. A lot of action, movement, fire energy, Cupid's arrows, travel for some of you. Things moving, progressing. Pretty powerful. With the star, renewed, restored, hope, faith, and optimism. Renewed because in the tarot, the star comes after the tower, which may for some of you represent um, perhaps an unexpected uh, event, an unexpected shakeup or breakdown or ending of something. The star comes afterwards to renew and restore hope, faith, and optimism to rebuild potentially. It's a card of hope and faith. Next, we have the Four of Cups, an offer being made, but not really acted on, at least not quite yet. It might be a, an offer coming towards you. It might be an offer you're extending towards someone else. There's a bit of a reluctance or a resistance here to say yes or no at this point. It, it looks like this person is considering it, but not making a move to take it just quite yet. With that, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, showing up as a queen, as a female, but in a general reading could be male as well. The Queen of Fire, probably charismatic, energetic, a go-getter, probably easy on the eyes, a good delegator, good leader. This is somebody who is significant to you, could be a partner, anybody really in a general reading. Next, we have the Five of Cups. Some sorrow, grief, loss, regret can sometimes represent apologies. There's a certain amount of, of looking at the past or looking at what hasn't happened or what went wrong or what we've lost that honors it and also gives us the opportunity to learn from things. But be careful not to get too stuck in this energy because there's two cups bef up, upright and full behind this person, but they don't see them because... They're too focused only on what isn't. It can represent things in your life to be grateful for or opportunities which may be coming in that you might miss simply because we can't look two directions in one, at one time. Might be an apology here for some people, incoming or outcoming. And we have the two of wands with that five of cups, a choice of action, a crossroads. Do I take this path? Do I take that path? From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus for the first half of January, Taurus, is the Seven of Coins. This is looking at the efforts um, at, at, at what we've invested in something and looking at the results and asking ourselves, do the results, do what I have to show for all of my efforts, Is it does it pay off? Can I do better? And if so, what do I do? Do I keep things the same? Do I try to make changes? Or do I take what I've gotten so far from this and just go off in a totally new direction? So there's more of a contemplative energy here. It feels like for some of you in the relationship sector of life that there may have been 
Well, it, it could be in work and career. I mean, this can be in any area of life. Um, it feels like there's some hope of something moving forward, perhaps after something ended or something was like really broken or something happened, something wrong happened. Um, there's an, it feels like there's an offer, an opportunity being extended either to you or from you. Maybe some apologies accompanying that and just kind of waiting to see what happens. It may be that um, you're waiting for someone to make a decision. They're waiting for you to make a decision. It may be that you decide, uh, you know, to go off on a different path. But it doesn't feel like for many of you, like there's a definitive answer within this two-week period of time. There may be, but it feels more like kind of more inner contemplative decisions. And the overall energy, of course, being that seven of coins, you know, what do I do? For those of you that somebody's waiting on an answer from you, you're like, well, do I reinvest this? Is it going to be any good? Let's take a look at that overall energy, seven of coins. two of pentacles another two which represent choices look here's that queen of wands again this person that's on the other side of this significant and the star again this is basically trying to decide if um someone for many of you it's you but for others of you you could be on the other side of this story it's trying to decide if you have enough if there's enough hope if if you if, if there's enough to show for your previous efforts to reinvest in something or continue to invest in something. Because it's a general reading, what that something is may vary, but it's central around this person. Let's take a look at that Eight of Wands and the Star. Judgment. It's all about the choices and decisions. Judgment is a fork in the road, a major crossroads. Um, it represents a choice, typically a choice. It, it, it can represent second chances. There's a second chance to do something, uh, which is kind of what I feel here. Um, it could be in a relationship. It could be an investment, a, a reinvestment, or a continued investment in anything. But there's a relationship here, too, or some kind of relationship or partnership with that Queen of Wands. Do I, you know, and the, the consequences meaning the results of judgment of this choice are significant. They're uh, usually long lasting, if not permanent, you know, so choose carefully here. The star with the nine of cups, which is your heart's desire, wish fulfillment. Is there enough, is, is there enough hope to reinvest? Is there enough to reinvest or continue investing in something that perhaps didn't work out well the first time? Let's take a look at this Four of Cups and Queen of Wands. The Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This is the nature of the offer. You know, it's a it's a it's a message coming out loving could be flirtatious a little bit. Uh, you know, it's a message driven by love, support, encouragement, somebody making an offer here too. You can see that the page is offering a bouquet of flowers. The five of pentacles, I'm so sorry, I feel shut out. I feel I didn't know what I had. I, you know, uh, again, I, I do feel apologies here. Let's take a look at the queen of wands. And again, depending on which side of the story you're on, it could be somebody making the apology to you, you extending the apology to somebody else way too many cards just popped right out like half the deck I'm not going to take that all right let's take a look at this queen of wands the nine of swords and the devil stress anxiety fear of an unknown future what if this happens what if this happens doesn't happen negative obsession over something thinking about something too much to the point that it's really negative uh i mean like imagining the worst possible negative outcome fear of an unknown future and then the devil addictive obsessive energy that in the long term turns into a habit and becomes unhealthy whether it's actual addiction like drug and alcohol addiction issues here like somebody relapsed again or something like that or any unhealthy toxic negative patterns here it feels like a relationship or partnership of some kind for some of you it might be romantic for others some a different type of relationship could be friendship or familial uh, 
but there's a sense of somebody having screwed up maybe for the umpteenth time an apology and please let's 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 try this again let's start this again let's do this again i'm sorry this didn't work out and it's all kind of hinging on the decision five of cups two of wands Two of Wands again. That decision. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So we have the work investment, a long term investment of work here, and the happy home card. Feels like for many of you it's it's more about home, family, and relationship, but it could be also in the work or project sector of your life or another kind of relationship maybe that was having negative consequences on the home and family. For others of you, it's about perhaps marriage or a long term commitment here do i am i willing to reinvest am i willing to invest the effort it's going to take going back into this or is this going to have a detrimental effect here the sun and the ten of wands and this kind of sums up the choice do i continue to hold this heavy burden carry this heavy burden or do i release it because it feels overwhelming do I release it so that I can release all the negative, heavy, restrictive energies too? That's pretty much what the whole reading is about. It, everything kind of hinges on this choice and what choice is made to, to continue investing or reinvest in something that went south before. So let's end with some advice, guidance, feedback. I mean, it feels, it's quite significant and it feels very difficult and very challenging. I think we've kind of all been in these situations at least once in life, in, in one area of our life or another. Um, but it's coming out really clear. It does feel like somebody is extending an olive branch. Let's try again. Let's try this again. I'm sorry. Um, there's, you know, a, a feeling of hope in the beginning. Um, so let's end. Advice, guidance, feedback from spirit. <clears throat> There's that lover's card, you know, a relationship at a crossroads, a choice, a decision needs to be made, either about the relationship itself or in another area of life that can impact the relationship. Again, it might be for some of you, you're in a relationship, you're already in a committed relationship. Um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. And the issue might be outside of the relationship, but it, it has had a really negative effect on the relationship. And it may be a decision the two of you are making together. Do we dive back into this thing? Do we go back into this thing? It, it, you know, should we reinvest in this? Would it be better or different the next time? Others of you, it's just about the relationship itself. Uh, death and the Ten of Swords. It, it feels like some of you and this is advice and guidance from spirit for for some of you maybe even a lot of you there's a sense here of coming to a, a, a difficult and perhaps even painful understanding with the ten of swords that something is done um, it's either done or it it's it's surrendering to to the the truth and reality that it's not going to be what you wanted it to be um, or that you just don't have it in you to kind of go back into this thing and try and make it work again so there is a final ending um, so that transformation can occur um, and temperance that's what brings peace and healing and most importantly balance here right neither too much of the one nor too much of the other this is peace and harmony ace of cups and two of cups and for those of you who may be considering ending a relationship coming to this understanding and awareness and walking away from it even though it may be difficult is what opens up the door for a true soulmate relationship that spirit wants to bring in for you um, for others of you for whom you're already in a relationship and the issue is outside of the relationship but is having a negative effect um, letting go of this again even though it might be difficult or challenging is what brings a renewal to your your situation to your relationship all right i'm going to leave it there taurus those are your messages for the first half of uh january 2024 i hope i hope they were clarifying and helpful um it, it looks like a challenging situation, so I'm not going to say I hope you enjoy the reading, right? Because, I mean, we, we all go through, I mean, life isn't like that. It's kind of, there's a cycle, there's a flow, things go up and down. Um, and this looks like a challenging situation, but I hope that what Spirit was able to show us here 
was of some help and use and clarity for you or validated what you're already kind of thinking and feeling. Again, if this did resonate and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can get that contact info by clicking the description uh, with this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the January mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well as we continue to move into a new year, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.